Aaron, Aaron Donald, Donald announces retirement. Um, this is just, it. I mean, this ain't news. This is like, <laughs> this is sensational news. Is today Aaron Donald Day forever? Listen, I don't do the days. After 10 years in the league, Rams defense tackle Aaron Donald has officially decided to call it a career. And man, what a career it was. What a legendary career, man. He announced his decision on uh, social media accounts. Cheers to what's next. Extending a big thank you to the Rams and all of your fans for your support over these last 10 years. Much love. This is the most iconic defensive lineman, really, uh, since my time in the NFL. Aaron Donald made the Pro Bowl in every year he was in the NFL. All 10 years. You know the only other player to do that? You. No. Barry Sanders. Damn, that's pretty good. They're the only two players in NFL history to make the Pro Bowl in every single season they played in the NFL. Both Ironically, both player too. retired at 10 years. Uh, yeah. But I got to set this record straight because I see a lot of people on social media uh, as they list all of Aaron's sacks against quarterbacks, people are like, never had a sack against the Eagles. Like, oh, the Eagles had your number. We double teamed him and triple teamed him every single game. All right. He is the only defensive tackle we have ever gone up against where the entire game plan is situated on not having him ruin the game. The only one. I don't care if it was a five down front. I don't care if there's a blitz happening over there. We are double teaming Aaron Donald. That's the way we played him. There was not another player that was treated in that light. Not a defensive end, not a defensive tackle, nobody. Not even Micah Parsons. We did try help out Micah a lot, too. Micah's very good. But I'm telling you right now, this guy should have had better numbers. Um, I, it's like, it's crazy to talk about. There was so little times he was blocked one-on-one. -on -one. I did see a couple clips of Joe Thune in the Super Bowl. Uh, Joe Tooney, he got it done, he got it done twice. I mean, just an absolute bulldog of relentless energy, power, speed, skill. The guy had everything. In my mind, he's the best defensive player, and I don't, I don't know that it's particularly close over the last decade. I really don't. I gotta get, I gotta get this footage of us playing him in Los Angeles uh, back in like 2014 or 15. Yeah, and I'm outside the hash, and he's like, let's say it's on the right, the ball's on the right hash. He's playing nose guard, or he's playing he's playing interior line, either, either 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 over the guard or the center, and I'm outside the left hash. Like I'm I'm as I'm like a good ten yards away from the guy. Got it. On the snap of the ball, he comes in V lines to reroute me, and fucking throws me, basically off the field. Yeah. No. I mean, listen completely fucking ruins the play <laughs> i come off the field like looking at everybody like did you guys just see what fucking happened to me i just got <laughs> i just got abused by somebody i had no idea was coming and he's the biggest son of a bitch on the field man just just an absolute house of a dude man i mean it's not even that he's the biggest it's like he's not that big bro what do you mean the guy look at the He's chiseled, but he's not, I mean, he, I don't think he was over 300 pounds. Maybe he was like, this is just a dude that was so much more explosive and powerful than anybody else. It was unreal how good he was. And I, yeah. I really, that's why I say it. Like, this is not a shot at any other defensive player that I played in the league because a lot of them were quite a bit better than me. There's no question about it. Like, I don't even like people like talking shit to the guy. Cause I'm like, y'all have no fucking clue how good this dude was. Like I, we, he didn't have a sack against the Eagles cause we were like, it was the entire game plan. We didn't care about another player on the field. And that's just the, the God's honest truth. It was where's 99 at. We're slotted to him. One time this last game landing got stuck on him. Cause I thought he was out of the game. I, he kind of snuck into his position that I didn't know he was still dude, on the he's field. Sneaky. That's how you got me. He's sneaky. And landed said, so we're not going to 99 anymore. One play. <laughs> Guards would go into the games like you could tell it's, during the week. They're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's over here. We're running over there. He's over there. We're worth sliding over there. Shout out to AD. No, it was unbelievable career, unbelievable brother. Career. Unbelievable. If you want to win one more uh, Super Bowl, just uh, we'll probably have some availability somewhere in December. And as for the debate um, for like goat defensive tackle, yeah. I don't like comparing cross like um generations. I think it's too hard. You know, John Randall, like all of these guys that played inside John Randall. John Randall's a, a, a like a very 
infamous defensive tackle, played for the Vikings. But there's there's been a lot of great defensive tackles. Warren Sapp. Um, I know this. He's the GOAT from when I was in the league. I, I firmly believe that. 